So welcome back to Jesus the Devotional. Today it's simply entitled, Do I Look Familiar? If you were a Jewish person in the nation of Israel during the time of Christ, you were looking for a Messiah. You're probably thinking, he's probably very kingly looking. I'm sure he's very powerful. In fact, I know he's going to overthrow these Romans, finally. Then Jesus shows up, right? And you hear comments from the people like, Oh, wait, isn't this the carpenter's son? And the scripture said they even took offense at him. So I thought we'd take a look at something pretty cool. And that's the parallels between what Jesus did and things found in the Old Testament even. And you'd think the people would have also uh, seen this. By the way, Jesus wasn't making any attempt to be covert about all these tie-ins. He wanted the Jewish people to see for themselves. So, I mean, just look at Elijah in the Old Testament, the prophet, the powerful prophet of God. He did some like crazy miracles and was the perfect candidate as the people knew all about him. And then, of course, there was even Moses. So today, I just want to give you a few of these parallels. And it's even good for us uh, in the modern day, but they should have known it. But it should give us confidence when we read these as well, because here we are 2,000 years later, and these things were, I mean, the time frame between that portion of the Old Testament and the arrival of Jesus, I mean, by different writers. I mean, if Jesus isn't who we think he is, wow, then you better explain this one to me. So, Elijah, he raises a widow's son from the dead. It's in 1 Kings. What does Jesus do? He raises a widow's son from the dead in Luke 7. How about Elijah miraculously multiplying food from just two simple things? That was in 1 Kings. What do we have? Yep, Jesus miraculously multiplies food from two things as well. Remember the bread and the fish? Okay, how about Moses? Miraculously, uh, Moses, uh, let's do it this way. Moses had the evil king Pharaoh who tried to kill him as a baby. You remember that? Uh, he was found in the water, but he put out this edict to, to kill the babies, right? How about Jesus? Well, King Herod of his time tried to kill the baby Jesus. He didn't want that baby coming into being a king. Then in Moses, he offered his life for the salvation of his people after they sinned in Exodus. And then Jesus offered his life, obviously, for the salvation of all people in Romans and other places. How about um, Joseph and the Old Testament. You remember that he was uh, cond condemned with two criminals, right? Remember in the jail? How about Jesus? Beside him were two criminals uh, when he was on the cross who were condemned with him. Then you have Joseph, who God planned his suffering actually in advance. So that he had to go through all that stuff so that many would be saved in that nation at the time. And it's the same with God. He planned his suffering uh, for Jesus in advance that he might save the world. See, you wonder, how could all these parallels be missed? And so, you know, as modern Christians today, uh, we really need to um, take heart when we hear these things. Um, and, and remember, again, they were hundreds of years apart, uh, and, and maybe even more than that uh, before the time of Christ. So it's no coincidence. So when I made the title today, Jesus, Do I Look Familiar? You should look familiar to them and to us. It should give us confidence seeing these parallels uh, between the Old and the New Testament that God made, that we might recognize Jesus.